Baldwin to the race for the White House here. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump has uh, has a new problem. New York's attorney general is now investigating Trump's charitable foundation. Attorney General Eric Schneiderman tells CNN why he launched the probe. My interest in the uh, uh, this issue really is in my capacity as regulator of nonprofits in New York State. We have been looking into the Trump Foundation to make sure it's complying with the laws that govern charities in New York. The Trump campaign fired back, calling uh, Schneiderman, quote, a partisan hack who has turned a blind eye to the Clinton Foundation for years and has endorsed Hillary Clinton, end quote. Let me bring in Paul Callen, attorney and former New York City prosecutor, and Betsy McCoy, Trump supporter and member of uh, Trump's Economic Advisory Council and former lieutenant I'm, governor. I'm here. not a member of the Economic Advisory Council oh. because I'm a columnist, so I'm just a supporter. Forgive me. Bad information. Thank I but you were the former lieutenant governor Absolutely. of this great state of New York. That is so, true. Welcome back. Nice to Thank see you. you. Uh, Paul Callen, what, what is he looking for here? What's the, what's the basis of this inquiry? It's not unusual, by the way, for the attorney general of any state to have power to investigate charitable foundations in a state. So yeah. Schneiderman, uh, he has jurisdiction in this area. What's unusual is that it's happening of a presidential campaign in a presidential year. A lot of AGs, I think, might back off and say, let's Which get the election over first, yes, to whether it's politically motivated. Now, I don't know what Schneiderman's specific facts are, but if he has evidence that he thinks supports fraud by the Trump Foundation, he certainly has a legal right to commence an investigation. Much of this came from the reporting in the Washington Post. We've had the reporters on. Uh, to me, you know, as we've heard from Trump and others that he has donated tens of millions, uh, you know, charitable donations, why not come out and say, here you go, address this publicly and embarrass Schneiderman? Well, first of all, it shocks the conscience what Schneiderman has done for the top law enforcement official in New York State to join the Clinton campaign's leadership council and then launch an investigation against Hillary's opponent is really unethical. He under, should under, recuse under himself. The frustration and there, but it, the, the, well, the, just wait a minute. Expect calls for his resignation. Expect to hear calls for his resignation because this is so extraordinarily unethical. Okay. So on the question of why not come out and be public and show, you know, show Schneiderman and the public, here are the millions of dollars that, that the charitable donations, case closed. Right. I don't expect that there will be ir irregularities found. After all, uh, the Washington Post, which is in a frenzy to find some way to discredit Trump and the foundation. So why not looked, release the records? Well, let me just go on. Went all the way back 24 years found what they called five discrepancies, three of which became false claims within 24 hours. So they haven't found anything. But I would be very reluctant to be the subject of an investigation by Eric Schneiderman. He has shown himself to be partisan. In fact, just a couple of years ago, he said, quote, there is no room for conservatives in New York State. I understand you are turning this back around on him, but I go back because to the question, why not release the records? Because his behavior released them to an impartial person. And by Will the way, the Will records, I'm, I don't speak for the campaign, but the Clinton, the uh, Trump Foundation records, all the filings have been made. Unlike the Clinton Foundation, let me just show you. Would you, you advise them to release them, though? To, to, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Releasing. releasing. They've made their filings. No, no, New York releasing State charity saying, law. here are the millions or tens of millions of charitable donations that well, we, have, by the that way, we have given. By the way, I run a charity, so I know what you have to file in New York State. You already have to file all of that in New York State. So believe me, Eric Schneiderman has copious data already on the Trump Foundation. I mean, uh, on the Trump let Foundation. Me, let me just hit pause on that and ask you. Would that be the case that, it, based upon her knowledge of philanthropic donations that he would have that information at his fingertips. Well, yes, there's a tremendous amount of information that the Attorney General has access to because it's his job yeah. to monitor these charitable foundations. But I wonder, Betsy, would you support Schneiderman investigating the Clinton Foundation? Oh, well, yes. That would be okay, let, but let, not the Trump Foundation. Out. You see, my feeling on no, it, if I no, could just finish no. for a moment, is that... <clears throat> Unless there's really compelling evidence of criminality or fraud, it would seem to me that 
neither Hillary Clinton nor Donald Trump should have their foundations investigated in the midst of a presidential you are campaign. Quite right about I that. think we could wait until December and do just as good a job as opposed to facing claims that this is a politically motivated action. I just think that's you what can, a sensible let me, lawyer let me go would on do. That Eric forgive Schneiderman me, forgive already me, forgive discovered. Me, Governor, but you can Stan, if, if you all or if the Trump, uh, you know, campaign has called on the Clinton Foundation to shut it down, right? Those are, that's the chorus. Then you can understand why the reverse no, is being called upon. No, let me upon. point out something that hasn't been added to this discussion yet. Sure. Eric Schneiderman is already aware that the Clinton Foundation violated New York charity law by failing to disclose donations from foreign governments, specifically and individually report them. He gave them a pass, $225 million in donations from foreign governments. True. Yes, he's, well, yes, in the sense that there's been public information about this, but all 50 attorney generals in all 50 states are aware of this, and not everybody's starting an investigation of the Clinton Foundation or the Trump Foundation, because we have a presidential election underway. Okay. Somebody in New York has decided, hey, I've got to do this, and I think it's raising legitimate questions as to whether it's politically motivated. But Incidentally, I also think it would be a mistake to go after Hillary Clinton at this particular point in political time. Getting muddied, all the politics, yes. quickly. Final well, thought. Yes, but as you can see, Mrs. Clinton's foundation failed to disclose 1,100 donations from foreign entities, despite an agreement she signed as a condition of becoming Secretary of State to disclose those donations, and in violation of federal tax code, she had to file amended returns. And when she filed those amended returns, it said, because foundations like people make mistakes. Well, the mistakes have piled up for the Clinton Foundation, and isn't it ironic that Eric Schneiderman instead has gone on a fishing expedition against the Trump Foundation? Okay, that's McCoy. Thank you, Paul Callen. Thank you. Thank you.